All right, now let's do something a little, uh, you know, more complicated. Let's let's add an if statement. And what I want to do is go from the button to go from red to blue to red to blue, you know, back and forth. So I'm going to go back to editing, and you're going to learn about these if blocks that let the app ask questions. It's really the the fundamentals of artificial intelligence, right? Um, but I'm going to go to my blocks, and in, when the button is clicked, what I have to do is kind of ask and say, well, what color is it, right? So I'm going to say, you know, if the button's background color is is blue okay so i'm going to go to button and grab his background color so i need to grab it's a get block it's these light green colors so i'm not going to change it i'm going to look at it and that's called a get block even though it doesn't say get and i want to know if that thing is uh blue okay and if it's blue i'm going to change the background color to red and then I can click on this little weird blue icon and I can do an else, I can add else. And notice I drag it over to the right here. And that makes my if really have two branches. So what, what this is saying is when the buttons click, if this property is this, do this. If it's not that, do something else. And in this case, I'm gonna change my background color to blue. Okay, and let's just copy this guy. Okay, this is not going to work right away, and I'll, I'll show you why, um, but this is what I want to work. If I run it, um, it starts off blue, right? The initial value is blue. If I click it, it just stays blue. Okay, and second time it clicks to red, and I'll, I'll, I'll tell you why. The reason is this blue color, which I grabbed from here, is different than the designer blue color, which is you know, whatever that thing is, you know, there's different shades of blue, right? So one way to fix this in our blocks, we can actually change right when the app starts, there's this screen one open. So right when my screen opens, I can set my background color of the button to a, you know, to a different shade of blue and back to this blue, right? So now when the app runs, it'll first grab the initial values of this guy and it'll change it to that blue just for a microsecond. But then the blocks immediately are going to run screen not opens and change it to a, you know, a different shade of blue. The user won't even see that. Um, it'll just see the second blue. And then when I click, it should toggle back and back and forth. Okay, let's try this out. And when I run it, the first time I click turns to red. Second time I click turns to blue and I can go back and forth. And, you know, I mean, it's basically this, these, you know, you can have any kind of complicated if question. This one has two branches. And I'm basically saying, if it's blue, turn it to red. Otherwise, if it's not blue, I know it's red, turn it back to blue. And that's how I can, you know, do a, do a simple toggle app. <laughs>